Lucas Media. So everybody is still soaking in the fact that Bronny got drafted number 55 overall pick to the Los Angeles Lakers in this year's draft. And some things came out before the Bronny name was selected. So we've heard rumors that Bronny, several different teams were interested in Bronny, but Bronny only refused, well, he refused to work out for teams. His agency, Clutch Sports, only had him work out for two teams, which were the Phoenix Suns and the Los Angeles Lakers. And y'all also remember Rich Paul said that Bronny's not going to take a two-way contract and they're looking really for the right fit for him. So, of course, he gets drafted by the Lakers. You know, his dad played there. His dad's going to more likely sign a three-year extension, so on and so forth. When well, you hear rumors coming out that Rich Paul was telling NBA teams, do not draft Bronny. Because if you do draft him, he's not going to play for your team. And instead, he's going to go overseas to play in Australia. And what he's, all, what he's talking about is the, N, the NBL. A bunch of different players played over there. The most famous one, LaMelo Ball, is really the one who put it on the map, in my opinion. But yeah, but Bronny was pretty much saying, him and his team saying it, that if I don't get drafted by the Lakers, I'm just going to go play overseas. Now, I've had subscribers ask me what I think about it. And, you know, all these different groups I'm in is talking about nepotism and it ain't fair and other kids deserved it. And you've had them also show other picks of players that didn't get drafted and honestly let's just start out with this number one who this is a 55 overall overall pick the 55th pick nobody cares that much honestly how many 55th picks you know that became all stars or just name them name me a bunch of 50 the 55th picks in these nba drafts majority of them don't make the team or they go back overseas you know it's a it's a low risk for the nba teams the contracts aren't usually aren't guaranteed and what is he probably gonna make what two million dollars that's chump change now especially with this new mega deal coming out with nbc but you know you just see so many different people that's just mad about it and another thing, yeah, it is nepotism, honestly, but nep nep nepotism exists. It exists everywhere. It exists in corporate America. It exists at these radio stations. It exists in the NFL, the NBA, boxing, the front offices, the coaches, ownership. You name it, that's where nepotism exists. But see, because LeBron and Rich Paul got the power to, you know, to do a couple of wink winks and pull some strings, people mad. But look at mo most of these owners, they you know, pass the team on down to their sons or daughters. And you see the one owner did this. And then when the next owner take over, it's a circus, but there's nothing you can do. But you don't hear people crying about that. But see, it's only, people only really feel some kind of way when it's one of us. And listen, if Bronny turns out to, to not be good in the NBA, who cares? Honestly, who he's the 55th pick. Who cares? Now, if he went number number one overall, I can understand why some people would be mad. But think about it. If, Ronnie, if Bronny's half decent, look how much money is being generated for the NBA. Look how much more eyes are being generated for the Lakers. Look at jersey sales. Look at the endorsement deals. Everybody will be able to eat off of this. And I keep saying this, the NBA is a business first. Hell, not even just the NBA, but the world is a business first. And the more people think about that, the better people will understand this is how things are. So I don't have a problem with Rich Paul telling them that because, you know, between him and Rob Polinka and, you know, all of them probably sat down allegedly and was like, look, this is what we're going to do. This is what we can do for him. This is the marketing strategy. You can play with your dad for three years. Could you imagine a farewell tour with LeBron and his son Bronny at the last game? And you know they, some people say that Bryce is better than Bronny. Could you imagine if Bryce go to the NBA and play like that? So it could be LeBron, Bronny, and Bryce. Mind you, LeBron just came off of an all-NBA season. So I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't understand it, why people are so mad. I even see somebody put up one about Marcus Jordan. Oh, Michael Jordan and use nepotism. They're, they were owners of the... Charlotte Hornets, what are you talking about? They own the NBA team at one point. What do you mean by, so So you don't think it was nepotism? Jeffrey Jordan was working at Jordan brand. You don't think that's nepotism? I don't get it. I don't get it. But again, maybe because I've been in, in corporate America for a very long time or just in business world. But this is how it's always been, honestly. And this is how it's always going to be. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. I don't have a problem with it. You know, oh, and one more thing. Y'all remember when Eli said that i was eli manning said i wasn't gonna play for the the chargers you you gonna have to trade me to a major market when john elway did it when john elway was like i'm not doing it now you can argue that you know it was more nepotism with eli because his dad peyton and you know you i didn't hear nowhere near the complaining as i'm here now but i want to get my quick thoughts about it again tell me what y'all think